Hi everyone. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, where do you get your top teaching ideas from? And the simple answer is, well, from life. Uh, there's so much going on all the time and a lot of it can easily become fuel for classroom lessons and discussions. Take the Meghan, Harry, Oprah interview as a case in point. It's a great example of how language can be used to shape perception, be it positively or negatively, and fits really well into the top theme of knowledge and language. So for example, um, if I were to unpick that example in class, uh, I'd look at the nature of the questions that are being asked. For instance, the first question asked by Oprah um, with regards to monetary gain or monetary incentive, it helps establish the, the speaker's reliability. I'd be looking at other things such as body language, the, the tears, the welling up, the facial expressions that match the tone of the words and how that might convince or sway viewers' emotions. I'd look at things like charged words, such as, for instance, uh, mental health, racism. Uh, these are very well recognized terms with supercharged subtext uh, as they form part of the current prevailing public discourse and they help establish um, people as either victims or not. Uh, the use of positive language, uh, such as fa father, family, protect, uh, they also feature quite prominently and they bathe the speakers in positive associative attributes. So all of those things would be um, areas that you could look at under that new theme of knowledge and language. So for more on ideas such as this one, um, and obviously how to unpack the new assessment, the exhibition, uh, join us on May 26th. See you guys there.